hi guys welcome back to another video of my miam go so today i'm going to show you how to download and install timot loader using the newest version and it was version 2025.07.3.0 and if you want to know when this version is uploaded it was a one hour ago so i'm kind of hurry to make this video because i was lucky to see when in steam i get notification the timot loader is already updated so i need to make a video as fast as i can anyway i see my channel is already hit 20,000 subscribers that's a big number so i want to say thank you very much from your incredible support i really appreciate and i want to see how far this channel will grow up so i still need your support and make sure you still subscribe like and comment to my video sections by the way, I see in my comment sections, also in Discord server, someone telling me to make some video. Come on, Miamgo, make a video about how to play Terraria really well, or tips and tricks in Timagodor, or Terraria playthrough using a column tutorial and other mods, or also other games gameplay. Yeah, yeah, I want to make a video about that, guys, but sadly, I don't have the time because uh right now i'm studying in engineer so my time is kind of limited but that's not mean i'm not gonna make this video i will try to make when i got a lot of free time maybe one video every two or three weeks i hope that's enough for you yeah maybe we will try from terraria and minecraft first and then we can go to the other games all right let's start first of all you need to have steam already installed in your pc because steam loader will access steam workshop to download some mods and then we need to have uh, winrar or 7zip you can choose one of them or both i'm using both and i don't see any difference between winrar or 7zip we can extract this file i'm using winrar and i just need to choose extract here after that i need to open the folder and you will see there is a five different file there are Terraria setup installation, tmodel.zip, Visual Studio, redistribution, and redistribution MSI, whatever. So we need to install Microsoft Visual C++ first. Uh, there are two options. To know which one you need to install, you can go to the PC info and see in the system operation. I'm using a 64-bit, so I need to choose a 64. For me, this installation failed because I already have this file so i don't need to install anymore next we just need to install xna for me i just need to repair because i already have to now we need to click terraria and then we need to checklist exabula go to the options here you don't need to change setting in options just go to the install game 2 or location where you want to install terraria here look carefully make sure you didn't change anything in the last folder it was called terraria with the uppercase do not change this name you can put in whatever location you want you can rename the folder before terraria but do not rename the terraria folder because it will make your team loader will not be able to run also one thing you need to know is do not put in c drive because some people tell me the antivirus they have will not allow your terraria to run in the c drive but there is one thing you can fix this you need to put your terraria in program files folder so if you only have a c drive try to install in program files be patient guys in this installation because it will take a lot of time for me, it takes uh, 5 minutes and I can see the progression is stuck in 75%. It's normal. Your Terraria is still try to install, but yeah, you just see the installation like it's not working or not responding or stop in 75%. But after you wait for maybe 5 or more minutes, it will run like a normal again. So be patient, please. I'm not gonna skip this video so I will show you I didn't lie and you will see like how long it takes from my PC.
After installation finished, just click exit, but you can click launch if you want to make sure your Terraria are working really well. Uh, now all you have to do is find where is your Terraria installation. For me, my location in here. So I just need to make sure I need to put Timot ladder next to Terraria folder. Do not put inside or in others folder because your Timot ladder will not be able to find your Terraria file. Now all you have to do is just open Timot loader folder and then find Timot loader.bat file. Click it and it will show command prompt like this. All you have to do is just wait for 5 minutes. In here, you just need to change some basic settings like select a language and then change the resolution, go to the full screen and whatever you want to be. Alright, you can see in the bottom left or right, the version we are using now is already the lastest one. So it's working. You are already using the lastest version of the other. Now, if you want to download the mods, just doing like a normal, go to the workshop and go to the downloads. Here, you will see like a tons of mods and you can choose which one mod you want to use. Uh, we can select by favorite mod and it will show up a calamity first or you can type which mod you want to download. After you finish to download the mods you want to use, we need to enable it. Go to the manage mod and you will see the mods you already download. All we have to do is click enable or enable all if you want to enable everything mods you wanted to use. So that's all guys how to download and install Timotoder using the newest version. And now you are ready to play, just make sure do not use too many mods because I'm not sure every mods you wanted to use are compatible. Anyway, if you are feel like this video really useful share to your friends also subscribe and like this video and if you have any question or struggling to install this mod or install this timot loader feel free to comment to my video sections or join my discord server i will try to help you as i can and i really appreciate you if you trying to help others too so yeah thank you for watching see you in the next video bye bye